so yeah finally i'm online uh hello to everyone i'm so happy to see you so um i think that today we have again uh, lots of people here online that's great so please uh write something write any comments uh if everything is okay with the video and with the sound so you can write any word or maybe you can write the um smile or something like this okay so yeah i see that you are writing where are you from hello uh from north carolina <laughs> okay hello hello yeah canada italy hello yeah so netherlands yeah so um now uh just one minute um i'm just correcting all the settings and we'll begin the general review of uh, your works uh for the lesson one oh sorry lesson two sorry <laughs> lesson two so we were uh drawing the autumn acorns and again i was just uh, looking for uh, some common mistakes and i will show you some uh, of your drawings some of your sketches and of course i will speak about some common mistakes and maybe if um if you have any questions just write in the comments here and i will try to answer them of course so great i see that the uh, video is okay okay so let's switch the screens and i will start so okay So great, uh, if you see the acorns again, please just uh, write um, the comment again. Um, so here we are with lots of beautiful acorns that you have drawn. They are really beautiful and nice. I hope that you liked the lesson. Uh, by the way, share again in the comments uh, your impressions. Uh, what was your thoughts? Maybe or maybe you have some uh, questions according this lesson. Just feel free share any comments right now in the comment section in the chat. And I'm just waiting for uh, maybe one more minute and then I will begin. So again, I'm just... Um, opening my own chat here on the second phone and i can watch and read your commenting okay so um as you see as uh, i've read also uh, that someone had some um well, questions about the brown color mixing here, for example, about the applying white pen. I also heard that question and maybe about the shadow under the acorn. So today I think we'll speak about this point. So we have three points, uh, shadowing a uh, brown color mixture and applying the white pen. And of course, I will read your questions as well. If you have any, just feel free to ask me. And I can see, yeah, I can see your questions and I can see your comments. Okay. So uh, let's begin with the first uh, thing, of course, with the composition. And I really love your composition. I really love how you uh, place uh, the objects on, the, uh, on your paper. That's, uh, well, everything is uh, great. I can open any picture, I can open any sketch and your uh, drawing, your position on the paper is quite well. So anyone can say that uh, you you can even see you can even uh, scroll the uh, sketches the drawing and you can say that everything is placed beautifully so that's okay what about the drawing itself so about the drawing of the uh, leaf of the acorns again i just well i'm really happy that you did great actually because the form the silhouette of the leaves uh, the silhouette of the acorns again you did great all of you really because uh, they are really beautiful nice and <laughs> they are really looking like a real acorns or for example like a real uh, leaf so that's really great 
uh, you did well here. About the liner outline, what can I say? Again, everything is quite well. Well, sometimes I can see that you have made the line here for, uh, well, if we speak about the leaf, uh, we can see that you have some line uh, maybe uh, too messy, but it's okay. So it's okay. But if you want to make the um, image more clean or maybe uh, you want to make your sketch more uh, illustration like you can make the outline more precise or maybe more messy here uh, for example in this area but the drawing and the composition itself is great so everything is okay uh, but so uh, if we are speaking about the well others uh, drawing i think you did great again and i love that you did the um uh, different thickness uh, on the leaves so I can see that you made okay you did well for example here you have the um, one thickness of the line and here you added the uh, well beautiful uh, bold line and it looks really nice clean beautiful so that's really nice and great so uh, if you have any question about the uh, well composition or maybe the drawing or maybe the outline just write any comment and i want to show you this example of very beautiful and interesting comp composition i really loved this one uh, too sorry this too uh, you see that we have some kind of a frame made here with a liner and again the second one with the frame with a wavy line. I really love the concept, I really love the idea of such a frame that really looks really uh, sketchy, interesting and I think, well, <laughs> a very nice idea, really, I love that. And for example, um, if we speak about the frames i really loved this one so i really love the outline here on the edges and i love that you make a color here it is maybe ochre or yellow really looks very nice and interesting i think that uh, this whole sketch looks like a card or something like this really very interesting uh silhouette and by the way i can well just really uh, love this kind of additions that you make for example you draw uh, well maybe several leaves uh, several acorns that's great and that's a nice uh, thing for a beginner to practice okay so i will just uh, read your questions and drink some water and then we'll continue okay yeah, so many great sketches. I agree, really, I agree. Um, I had troubles with drawing ovals. Uh, ovals, you mean the ovals of the acorns, or maybe you are speaking about the previous lesson. Please write uh, in the comments. Okay, I really enjoyed this lesson. Thank you, thank you. I used too much pigment from the beginning, so everything gets too dark. Mm -hmm. uh, that's uh, not a big mistake actually so if you uh, have used too many uh, paints uh, too much of the pigment that's okay you can um, then um, understand uh, exactly when you are doing this and you can uh, make some uh, corrections for example with your brush or maybe with your napkin so uh, just uh, keep the napkin or maybe the cloth um, close to you and if you have some well extra water or extra pigment you can use it to remove some extra pigment extra water that's really really um, a great thing uh, for working with watercolors so just just, uh, well, keep your napkin and keep your clothes um, closer to you, especially when you are drawing. Okay. Uh, I loved this lesson. Two acorns give me a chance uh, to do them twice. Wow, well, great. Um, just like the upper and lower section of the latte cup. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's... Uh, well, actually, I usually um, give the... Uh, themes that can uh, 
give you more exercises. So uh, I give you the themes, I give you the objects uh, that, well, can lead you to more practice, can lead, lead you to more exercises in uh, simple techniques. For example, here we've made two acorns, here we've made another kind of shadow. So if you remember uh, on the first lesson, we did a, we did a beautiful, uh, colorful shadow under the cup, but here we've made a gray and natural shadow. So the technique is similar, but the colors are really different. And if you practice different types of shadows, I'm sure that you will do great with them. And I'm sure that you will do uh, the three dimensional objects and you will uh, do beautiful washes and soft edges. By the way, I would like to speak about the soft edges that we have here um, on this lesson. By the way, uh, you did great with the soft edges. Edges. I really love the flow of the watercolor and I really love the colors and the sketch itself. So great work. But sometimes I can see that the uh, edges of the uh, shadow is a bit uh, too messy, but the drawing itself, the acorns and the leaf, they are great actually. And the shadow you just need a bit more practice. And again, here we have uh, two helpers and we have, of course, napkin and we have the brush. So uh, on the lesson, I've uh, showed you the uh, technique with the brush when you are removing the extra water and extra uh, paint on the edges of the shadow. But of course, you can also use the napkin for this or the piece of cloth, just something like this. So if you want to make soft edges uh, on your shadow, just apply the napkin or apply the cloth while your shadow is still wet. So it is the main uh, point here. So uh, when you are doing the shadow and you don't want to make the uh, edge like this, for example, like uh, we have here, so just, uh, just remove the extra paint, the extra water from the edges. And you can use the brush as I did in the lesson two, or you can use the napkin. That's really, really um, nice uh, for the edges. So, okay, now I can uh, look on your comments again. Um, yeah, la, uh -huh, okay. Uh, your instructions and teaching style are so helpful and very well presented. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, well, I try not to overload you with lots of information on the one hand. And on the, on the other hand, I want to give you the precise uh, techniques and precise things uh, for your best uh, drawing and for your best result. Well, this, this is really challenging sometimes for me as well as a teacher, but I really love the process as well. I really love teaching and I love that the uh, participants and my students get so beautiful sketches. Really, I love that so much. Um, yes, the ovals of the acorns. Okay, you um, well write the comments, um, Mirella. Uh -huh, okay, so uh, the ovals of the acorns, they can be really different. So if you see that we have lots of different ovals here, lots of different uh, shaped uh, acorns, and they are all beautiful. Actually, if you walk uh, somewhere and uh, you see the acorn, they can be different in shape, they can be different in sizes, and they can be different in, well, many things. But uh, that's okay. Uh, the ovals that we did, uh, on the lesson, they are approximately showing the shape of the acorn. And don't just uh, criticize too much uh, yourself uh, or your drawing in sketching style. That's okay. You can just, uh, well, practice a bit more if you want to uh, feel confident in your ovals. But that's okay if your ovals just, well, look different uh, from mine ovals or from any other ovals. Uh, again, uh, because of two reasons that the acorns they really can be different and um, it is watercolor sketching style it is a really freestyle and you don't have to um, uh, you don't have to follow some strict rules or maybe some uh, strict uh, 
things that you see, you don't have to do that. Uh, watercolor sketching is mostly about your experiencing the nature, about your experiencing uh, some emotions, or maybe about your experiencing some thoughts, your ideas, about the expressing your ideas, of course. So that is what about watercolor sketching is. And of course, if you want to make your ovals, perfect <laughs> just you just need to practice and that's all so i really love uh, your different uh, acorns i uh, really appreciate your um, active commenting and your active participations of course so now i want to continue with the watercolor and for example if you have uh, some kind of uh, uh, difficulties with applying watercolor maybe uh, especially if we are talking about the shadow parts here uh, again we have just one simple technique to make a soft uh, transition from one color to another for example if your acorn is dry and you want to add some color maybe you want to add some shadow just uh, wet your brush and wet the edge a bit more then wait for maybe two or three seconds and then you can uh, make some strokes with your wet brush just only with uh, well only using the water uh, well and you will get a beautiful smooth um, edge here and beautiful smooth transition uh, for example um, we see here the edge just the uh, well the line of the dark uh, color and then the orange color we can correct this thing really very easily so the first um, technique that we need to do here of course is just the wet brush and we are just making small strokes only with water and the second uh, thing we can do here we can mix the color, the middle color, uh, for example, the orange color that we have here and this brown, this dark brown, we can mix these two colors, for example, enter between these two colors. And you will get a beautiful, again, smooth transition from one color to another. I think you can just practice and you will do great with the shadowing. Okay, so, and I want to read again your comments i can see that you are commenting really active thank you so much for this uh, does anyone uh, find the jelly roll white pan a bit um, well uh, temperamental with a tendency to stop following um, flowing or getting stuck with dry paints that uh, it picks up drying okay uh, yeah i can understand so of course uh, you need to apply first of all your uh, white pan only when your uh, watercolor layer is dry so try not to um, draw with the white gel pan when your watercolor paint is still wet so just just wait a bit um, until your sketch is completely dry and only then apply the wet uh, the uh, white gel pan it is the first point and the second one try not to uh, press too hard on the pan i had this question today so what about the uh, applying of the white gel pan and i can show you one example well actually we have maybe several of them for example here and we can see uh, that the uh, pen did a great beautiful highlight here but sometimes we can see that you are pressing maybe too much too much on the white gel pen for example here this line um, and the line that we have next to it so you see that one line is really uh, well uh, contrasty it is bright but the line that we have here it is a bit more uh, slightly visible so it can happen it can happen well i don't know exactly <laughs> but it can happen if you are pressing too much on your pan and the uh, metal ball that we have there inside each pan it just scratches the white pigment from the paper well it can happen really often 
just <laughs> know this thing. By the way, your drawing is really nice and I love your uh, coloring, I love your drawing and I love your uh, shadows. You did great. Uh, so I will uh, just look for the uh, example about the pan that I'm talking about right now so you'll see better uh, what I want to say. Mm, maybe here, yes. So uh, you see that we have the highlights uh, here on the acorns, uh, on the top area. And you can see that we have some kind of, a, I don't know, maybe the lines, the brown lines there. And the uh, line that we did with the white pan is not that solid. So you can see some kind of a messy thing there and especially here on the uh, right acorn you can see that the pan is just well we can feel that it is not working that well but it is because of maybe you are pressing too much on the pan and the metal ball is just scratching and it's just not giving the white pigment flow easily out of the pan so just, I know that you have some <laughs> questions about using the white pan and of course you can um, use not only the white pan, you can also use the white gouache or white acrylic paint as well. If you are used to this uh, material, for example, gouache or acrylic paint, you can use them as well. So here I want to stop on this sketch and by the way, I love the colors if we are talking about the watercolor and if we are talking about the uh, mixing colors. So I really love the colors, but I think that you need to make a bit more um, visible uh, drawing of the acorns and of course of the leaf. So if you do uh, the drawing, the contour of the first acorn and of the second acorn and of course the contour of the leaf, your sketch will look more contrasty, interesting, uh, more visible, more eye-catching. So just try this one, this technique. And of course you can add the pen or you can add the liner after the watercolor. That's okay. So just um, remote the lesson. Uh, stop at the point where I'm talking about the liner outline and just add the outline right above the watercolor that you have here. So I, I hope that you will do great with this one because the colors are really nice and they are really bright. So uh, let's move on and I want to, um, well again, read some of your questions. Why making a white line in places where it is dark um, because of the shadow? Uh, why making a, well, so yeah, I understand what you are uh, talking about. So we have the line here. <laughs> I hope I understood your uh, comment correctly. So for example, let's open this one. So we are making the uh, line here. It is for reflection. So uh, if we are talking about the watercolor sketching style, sometimes it is about simplification uh, of some uh, painting and drawing uh, rules. And simplification can look like this. So we need to add the reflection on the object that is uh, from the surface uh, well for example we have some kind of a white surface that are uh, holding the acorns and of course we have the white surface and that is why we have the light reflection from this surface on the uh, objects so that's a common thing in drawing reflections um, on the shadow part and because of the uh, sketching style, because of the simplification, we are doing it uh, with the white gel pen. Of course, you can, well, just uh, skip this point if you don't like the effect. And if you uh, don't like the um, white pigment here on the reflection, you can uh, add the second layer of watercolor to make this uh, white gel pan a bit more uh, maybe muted. So we can mute, you can mute this white pigment on the reflection if you want to. And if you do so, uh, you will make a more uh, realistic uh, drawing, 
but again it's up to you you can decide and you can make it or not so uh, this one, I really love this one, uh, but I think that uh, you should add a bit more of the colors on the leaf and maybe uh, a bit more of the shadows on the acorns here on this area. So we have the shadow part, yes, on the bottom part of the acorns and I think just a bit more of the shadow will do great. Okay, so and the next questions. Okay, okay, thanks. <laughs> I had the same issue, but it maybe uh, have been that I've used. Uh -huh, mm -hmm. um, okay, <laughs> so I see that you're speaking uh, to each other here in the comments. That's great. I had problems with water. Thank you for explanation. Use napkin. It helped a lot. Yeah, I know. I know. Just use your napkin anytime you need to get rid of extra water or extra paint. Uh, that really helps. Yeah, thank you. Um, okay, you are a great teacher. You explain everything so well, but I found the acorns harder to do than the pumpkin latte. Okay, so that's great actually because we are going. Um, well, like for, from the easiest part to the hardest <laughs> so the next lesson uh, tomorrow's lesson uh, will be again a bit a bit harder than the two previous ones so than the uh, pumpkin latte and than the acorns so to, uh, tomorrow we are drawing a beautiful autumn door and uh, you'll know some, well, interesting techniques uh, tomorrow and I hope you will like this lesson as well. But again, it is a bit harder. So I uh, give you the lessons uh, intentionally, um, adding some, some interesting techniques and uh, for your practice and for your, um, for your maybe a bit challenging effects or maybe a bit... Um, competitional uh, spirit so I, I love this uh, effect so when you are um, learning something if I give you two uh, simple uh, tasks uh, that won't be interesting I think so okay uh, now let's move on to the next uh, point here again so I uh, told you about the shadows and what you can do for example the uh, shadow under the acorns here again you can use your napkin to make soft edges and you can use uh, the brush as I did in my lesson uh, then I saw some sketches that are maybe too light well actually you can uh, leave your sketch like this if you like but I think uh, you can add a bit more of the color and maybe add a bit more of the shadow uh, on the leaf Mm -hmm. on the acorns and of course under the acorns as well so i will just uh, now uh, show you some more of the sketches that are illustrating this point about the shadows so maybe maybe a bit more of the shadows under the second acorn um well here again the same thing maybe a bit more shadows on the acorns and under the acorns as well okay so here we have beautiful ones but again here i think maybe a bit more of the shadow by the way the colors are really nice and i love the uh, color uh, transition here from the yellow to the uh, brown and to the red uh, the colors are really nice but here just a bit more of the shadow on the acorns for them to be more three-dimensional and of course under the acorns just maybe half tone or maybe one tone um, darker okay so here we have a very beautiful acorns I'm not going to show uh, you the whole, uh, uh, every um, picture, every drawing, because um, it is impossible, but I really love, um, well, every drawing you did, so they are all very beautiful. Uh, here, again, maybe a bit more of the shadow on, on the acorns and under the acorns. 
Okay. Uh, the same thing here uh, on the acorns and under the acorns. By the way, I love your composition and I love the uh, lettering that you did here. Uh, so this one is also great. I really love the colors and I love the uh, sketching lines here under the acorns and I love the lines that you have uh, made here like contour or something like this. I really love this effect and I uh, sometimes uh, also do uh, this kind of a technique. Uh, the lines um, close to the contour <laughs> well, I just usually add them if I want to show uh, some kind of a movements or maybe the messy effect and I love this one I love this one but I think uh, maybe a bit more of the shadow well and your sketch will be perfect on the acorns and under the acorns as well okay so um, the same thing here uh, under the acorns uh, on the acorns maybe maybe uh, well one stroke uh, here will be great so uh, I want to read your comments now and then maybe you, if you have some other questions. Hi, I'm in love with these glasses. Thank you. Thanks a lot for the glasses. Thank you. Thank you all for the participation, by the way, and for your support. I really appreciate all your sketches and all your messages that you are writing in the direct messages in the Instagram. I'm really just uh, sitting and texting the whole day, maybe the half of the day. Uh, that's really nice. Um, I have the impression that although um, I do the shadow, it seems that my uh, draws are static. Well, that's okay. Uh, static, you mean that they are just, well, lying on the table or just lying on the sun surface that's okay because uh, we do some kind of a illustrational thing here we don't have any well dynamics here you can add dynamics if you want to uh, with the uh, colors for example uh, you can make the shadow uh, not that gray, you can add uh, some uh, colors on the shadow, for example, with the blue color, with the violet, uh, you can add splashes or something like this, if you want to, of course. Um, you're the sweetest teacher I have ever had, thank you. I have problems uh, with creating a depth, any tips? Uh, yeah, uh, for example, if you have uh, problems with creating a uh, depth, uh, for example, with creating shadows or maybe with creating the highlights, uh, that's the um, double thing. For example, if you are not adding the shadows, uh, the highlighted areas won't see that uh, nice. Uh, that's why you need to uh, keep in mind both two things. The highlighted areas, the lighted areas and the shadow areas. And you need to um, make them both visible. So really visible. Uh, and if you have maybe some problems, uh, it may be because of your paper. Maybe if you are applying the second or the third layer of the shadows and when the color, the paint is drying, you can see that there is no shadow sometimes. Even if you applied a third layer or the second or the fourth, I don't know, several of them. Uh, of them. And uh, sometimes it is uh, because of the paper, it, well, it can be and of course it can be because of the watercolor itself for example if you are using a kid's watercolor and maybe not uh, that uh, good uh, watercolor in quality the layering the adding of the color well it can not lead to the uh, contrasty look, to the depth and to the other things that you want to do, uh, to some effects, maybe again because of the materials. I think it is because of this. Uh, and of course it, is, it can be because of the um, amount of water. If you are using too much of water, your uh, color dries really light. Uh, you can mix the water plus 
pigment on your palette and you can check on your paper on a separate sheet of paper um, is the uh, amount of water and the amount, amount of pigment is okay and if you are using too much of the water the paint will dry light and you won't get dark uh, shadows and dark strokes okay nature is perfectly imperfect yeah agree i lightly wet the body of acorns before i dropped the paint but the color was too light how do i darken it without uh, lifting the uh, softness of previous layer thank you oh yeah i have one tip so uh, you just need to um, pre-wet the first layer that you did again with the water so for example if you want to make uh, several layers to add some colors and to add some shadows you just need to uh, make the whole uh, body of the acorn wet again uh, just use the um, well soft brush for example the brush uh, with squirrel or maybe kalinsky sable uh, it is the best if you are using the natural brushes. Uh, so just pre-wet the whole area here, for example, on this acorn, the whole area where you want to add the second layer. And then apply uh, the amount of color you want on the area you want. And you will get that soft look and beautiful uh, transition from one color to another. So just again pre-wet it but uh, be sure that the previous layer the first layer is completely dry okay so we have so many questions i think i should just answer them so um what about your sketches i really love them i really love your uh, composition your drawing we uh, now just um looked for several points for example i told you about the liner outline the composition and your drawing about the water uh, using uh, on the shadows so you if you have some kind of a uh, edges that you don't like for example if you have the edges like this or maybe you want to make the soft edges like this you should use your napkin or your brush you have two variants so they are commonly used and of course if you want to add more depth or if you want to add more uh, shadows uh, on your acorns and on your uh, shadow uh, you can use this method so you can pre-wet your paper and then add uh, the color that you want and you will get the soft transition that's a really really nice technique so just try it and i hope you'll get the result that you want so by the way i also want to add here that we uh, maybe need to add a bit of the shadow here on the acorns on the shadow part and of course some shadow under the acorns as well so great now i want to um again read just your comments and your questions if you have them okay uh i think i'm too hard on myself it's okay it's okay i know that um beginners and the well people who start drawing and even the professionals they often criticize themselves too much i think too much uh, because I think that the art and the drawing should be for uh, our pleasure, first of all, and then for the others, for the other people, secondly. So firstly, it is for yourself, for your time and for your expression. That's the main thing. Uh, I'm able to paint the um, homework after you did the review. Uh, is it possible to get a short comment uh, in your Instagram post? I know you have a lot of posts to see. <laughs> I don't look well. <laughs> okay, send me send me in direct message. Um, I love your lesson and style. Thank you, thank you. I'm having fun finally learning to do watercolor. You are a great instructor. Thank you. Hi. Um, yeah, I do the white uh, the white pan the next day. Okay. Uh -huh. My main challenge is with watercolors. Uh, it is hard to choose and mix colors for me. Again, it is just uh, the uh, matter of practice. 
I'm sure just the matter of uh, your hand get used to applying watercolor and get used to the brush you are using and uh, get used to the paper you are using. So just practice and practice. Uh, love this lesson. I found it more challenging than I expected. So it was intentionally. Um, okay, I found it more challenging. Yes. Uh, I made a mistake with the gel pen on the highlights on the cap um, on the acorn because the paint was still damp. Yes, just well wait until the the paper is completely dry and then apply the white uh, pen. I struggle uh, with the shadows and white pen, but I feel that you are not getting my. Um, but I feel that you are not getting my paint on time. Oh, sorry, can you please explain one more time? Or maybe if you have, um, well, some kind of a question, just write in the direct messages. So, uh, really, so many questions. Thank you, so many comments. I think we should just now um, <laughs> end our meeting. Uh, so, I think that all of your sketches they're really beautiful and i said everything i wanted to say uh, by the way here we have the last comment here again i will add i would add i would add a bit more of the colors on the leaf uh, more shadows on the acorns and of course under the acorns and they will be beautiful really beautiful and nice so just again feel free uh, don't be afraid of the color don't be afraid of the uh, water if you have too much of the water just use your napkin that's that's the uh, tip points <laughs> that's the um, uh, main thing so that's the main thing don't be afraid of water just use it and if you have too much on your paper, just remove it with your brush or with your napkin. So if you have any questions left, <laughs> just write in the direct messages. And today we are finishing our um, review, general review. And I will see you tomorrow in the next lesson. And then again, I will see you in the general review uh, on the third lesson. So now I will just switch my uh, screens again. Yeah. So thank you everyone for this evening and for this uh, live stream, for this general review, for your commenting, for your uh, questions. Uh, they are really interesting. And again, see you tomorrow.